Good day and God bless. Welcome to When It Came to Pass. I am Dana. Today we're going to read through Matthew chapter 24. Now this chapter, along with the parallel chapters in Mark 13 and Luke 21, are probably some of the most scrutinized and theorized chapters in the entire Bible. There are a lot of interpretations out there. And it's all prophecy, right? So you're going to have all kinds of logical and wild theories out there. Some of them are going to reach around all kinds of centuries and millenniums, and some of them are going to say it's happened already. Some of them are going to say it's still to come. What I would like to do is try and block all that out and actually read what Jesus said. Use logic, common sense, critical thinking skills. If you have been at any time a truther, use those skills that you learned and got really good at while you're reading the Bible. Question it all. Is what is written down, what lines up with what you've always heard or been taught or believed? What's actually written down is far more important than the theories you may or may not be hanging on to. So let's read this and see what we can figure out. Matthew chapter 24 And Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and his disciples came to him for to show him the buildings of the temple. And Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another, that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginnings of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whosoever readeth, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And woe unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in those days. But pray ye that your flight not be in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day, for then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. No, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs, and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before, wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For wheresoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. And immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels 
with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Now learn a parable of the fig tree, when his branch is yet tender, and putteth forth leaves. Ye know that the summer is nigh, so likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, This generation shall not pass, till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. But of that day and hour knowest no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noe entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came, and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Then shall two be in the field, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill, the one shall be taken, and the other left. Watch, therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord doth come. But know this, if the good men of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched, and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour that ye think not, the Son of Man cometh. Who then is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household, to give them meat in due season? Blessed is that servant, whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. But and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, and shall begin to smite his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunken. The Lord of that servant shall come in a day when he looketh not for him, and in an hour when he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Now let's go look at the verse references. Matthew chapter 24 verse 2 has a parallel verse in Mark chapter 13 verse 2. And Jesus answering said unto him, Seest thou these great buildings? There shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. And Luke chapter 21 verse 6. As for these things which ye behold, the days will come in which there shall not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Matthew chapter 24, verse 15, is in reference to Daniel chapter 8, verse 13. Then I heard one saint speaking, and another saint said unto that certain saint which spake, How long shall be the vision concerning the daily sacrifice, and the transgression of desolation, to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden underfoot? Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease, and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. In Daniel chapter 11, verse 31, And arms shall stand on his part, and they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength, and shall take away the daily sacrifice, and they shall place the abomination that maketh desolate. Daniel chapter 12 verse 11 And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination maketh desolate set up, there shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. In the parallel verse, in Mark chapter 13 verse 14 But when ye shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not, let him that readeth understand, then let them that be in Judea flee to the mountains. Matthew chapter 24 verse 21 is in reference to Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Matthew chapter 24 verse 29 is in reference to Isaiah chapter 13 verses 9 and 10. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, 
and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And Joel chapter 2 verse 10, The earth shall quake before them, and the heavens shall tremble. The sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. Joel chapter 3 verse 15, The sun and the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. And Ezekiel chapter 32 verse 7, And when I shall put thee out, I will cover the heaven, and make the stars thereof dark. I will cover the sun with a cloud, and the moon shall not give her light. In parallel verses, in Mark chapter 13 verse 24, But in those days, after the tribulation, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light. And Luke chapter 21 verse 25, And there shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. Matthew chapter 24 verse 35 is in reference to Isaiah chapter 51 verse 16. And I have put my words in thy mouth, and I have covered thee in the shadows of mine hand, that I may plant in the heavens, and lay the foundations of the earth, and say unto Zion, Thou art my people. Matthew chapter 24 verse 37 is in reference to Genesis chapter 7 verse 4. For yet seven days, and I will cause it to rain upon the earth forty days and forty nights. And every living substance that I have made will I destroy from off the face of the earth. There is an absolute ton of prophecy in that chapter alone. I suggest that you take the time to really think about it. Pay attention to words like shall, before, unto. Really dissect all of it. Really think about it. And pray about it. And until next time, have a great day, and God bless.